Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as United States and our Hearts of Iron 4 USA Democracy Edition Campaign. Yeah, all those words need to be said. So, right now we are currently looking at my Strike Force from, or I guess really, not my Strike Force, but my Pacific Patrol Fleet that is currently trying to rebuild themselves in Wake Island, but it's not going so well with Level 1 Repair. Um... Uh, I really want to send them to Hawaii, which I think will be best. So I've blocked off Wake. Is this is this Wake? This is Wake. That's Midway. Uh, the Johnson Atoll. I really blocked off a lot of these places just because you really shouldn't repair in these areas. Philippines. Oh, hold on. Uh, let's see. Block that off. Block that off. Block that off. I don't mind repairing here because that's level six. That's not too bad. But these islands only have level one, and I really don't mind them repairing in Hawaii if at all possible I want everyone to go there uh, moving to Hawaii, Hawaii Naval Base uh, alright so there they go most of them are going to repair which is fine if we have one ship repairing in like Wake Island or whatever or midway, where, wherever that is. That'll be fine with me. With me. Uh, what are you guys doing? 22 ships in a fleet. You're moving to Virginia because they're going to go repair. And I'm going to start sending these to the Pacific to patrol probably one area. Now, the biggest threat we currently have is a Japanese, two Japanese strike forces. So, let's see. I'm going to show you what I have. So, I have seven carriers, which isn't bad. Ten battleships, which isn't bad either. 26 cruisers in total. 81 destroyers and 111 subs. That's not too bad. The Japanese, which I haven't shown you yet, realistically broken down. It looks like they have a lot of ships, but they have like six carriers, five battleships. They have a, like 26 heavy cruisers. But they're organized in a way so that their fleets are extremely powerful. That's really our main goal, is to kill off the main Japanese fleet, which I did see was around this area, the Mariana region. As well as West Emperor Chain. These are the two main areas. Oh, see, here's one of the fleets. Under Yamamoto. Which is very, very strong. That we really need to try to kill off. Especially with these carriers. They're very, very, very powerful. Which I am honestly afraid of. But to do that, we will definitely need more fighters. As well as more naval bombers. Which we I already am trying to group up. Also... I have been... Oh, actually, you should be pushed up here when you're ready. I've also been... I also am creating some marine divisions. 40 width, of course, marine divisions. Awesome! Venezuela has capitulated. Uh, come up here and do that. Can you actually do something else for me? Any naval bombers? Eh, we're still trying to build up our naval bomber supply, which kind of sucks. Uh, okay, you're repairing. Good. You're going there. I don't want you to just sit in the water do no doing nothing. We have a couple of divisions of infantry being made, which we'll send over here. When we do go to war with the Axis, which is slowly winning their war against the Soviets. And to be honest with you, I did check Germany and the Soviet Union out. The Soviets are completely out of goods. They're completely out of infantry equipment. Pretty much all regular infantry equipment and artillery, support equipment. The Germans are just going absolutely ham on everybody. And it's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. But... That's not our focus. We just finished off Venezuela, which is very, very good. Uh, let's see. Which also, which means once we're done with Venezuela, we really want to finish up Peru here as well. And then once done with Peru, uh, come on, just go ahead and put some, a little more focus on them. Even if we might not win, we can still do some pretty good damage to their numbers in terms of uh, getting rid of their equipment. We have to take out the Dominican Republic. Why? Because I did see that Japan had like... 16 substation here, and we really can't have any sort of enemies located around here. Patient XL leader offers his services. Oh, that's cool. Uh, ooh. Oh, no. We lost... Oh, two allied Philippine convoys. Whatever. So. Yeah, the Pacific is pretty darn quiet. But we need more support equipment, of course. Infantry equipment's okay. Definitely need more naval bombers. But let's finish up Venezuela first. Alright. Go ahead, give them a little more support down here. If you can. We're not doing so well down there, we're doing well over here. These guys are encircled and they will pretty much all die, which is good for us. William Simpson, 
Do you have any upgrades? No? That's alright with me then. Okay, you just got injured. Oh, that is not good. We lost a sub. Well, that's kind of a to be expected. Let's see. Over here we have 18, 18, 18 subs. Wow. Actually, that's quite a few subs. I'm going to go ahead and put you down here. And a lot of our subs have already been damaged pretty heavily. Go ahead and repair. Uh, you guys are engaging somebody. Some Japanese convoys. Oh, they got some destroyers, which isn't good. Go ahead and repair. Um, so you have two people here. Oh my gosh, that's really bad. So, uh, let's let the time go on. But I'm going to add you to this group here. Uh, yeah, you're the sub guy. So, throw you on here, but I'm going to throw you over here as well. And they're going to meet up with the Task Force 8 and reinforce that Task Force, which would be very good. Very, very good. And we lost the submarine hull. Yeah, to be expected. we got convoys here, operating on low risk. A lot of subs, which is kind of nice. And I'm going to switch these naval bombers. You come up here. And actually, I'm going to send you this way. West Emperor Chain, because we're not really focused very heavily on the West Emperor Chain. But now we will do a little bit more. Oh, we sunk a convoy, because I do know the Japanese fleet is somewhat around here. And they have some destroyers, which would be nice to use some naval bombers against their destroyers. Alright, slowly, 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 slowly. We, will, we killed them all. Okay, then. You guys not faring so well down here, but we are. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of convoys. Oh, and do we, have our, we do have our tanks down here, so that's actually kind of nice. I'll get down here. Go and send the tank division in there. I know we're attacking over river, which is pretty bad. But whatever, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. Ooh, super heavy armor piercing shell. So that gives our battleships and battlecruisers some more piercing. It is 1942. Uh, let's see, what do we need? We need... Actually, we're doing pretty darn well on rubber. That's surprising, actually. How are my planes? I have to have more naval bombers. Everything else is going okay. We will need more rubber since we are going to be using more naval bombers. So extraction might not be a bad idea. Basic snorkel gives you less... Wow! That's a lot less sub-visibility. Holy crap. That's extremely good. Yeah, I want that. You have. To, I have to get that. There's no way I have to have that. Portion of Venezuela, we can really focus on this little group right here. And then think about invading the Dominican Republic, which has quite a few divisions on there, on them. Uh, let's see. They don't have that much manpower. They do have quite a few divisions, but hopefully they're not too strong. Let's see. So I am making three units of Marines right now. Actually, make that a high priority. Definitely want them to be available. Uh, let's see. Nine destroyers are leaving. It's fine. Because we will start an island hopping campaign very soon, but I'm not going to do it until I have both my f fleet here in Virginia being a little bit more upgraded, which... Where are they? Oh, you're still patrolling. Well, we have one person trying to rep group up, or what is this? A better hull for light cruisers? You get you use more fuel, but you're a little faster. Actually, that's not too bad. Uh, that would, Oh, 84 days is too long, in my opinion. Go ahead... Oh, destroyers. How long would this take to do? Nine days is not bad. I don't mind doing that. Nine days is pretty easy. Go ahead and repair some of that. And then, what is my patrol group here doing? We don't have a lot of ships here. That would take 84 days. Yeah, that's what I thought. No thanks. It's not bad. It's an okay group. And how's our main strike force? So, we have 30 screens and 10 capital ships. Not bad, but I need at least 10 more screens to make it really quite optimal. So you got another sub being made here. We do have a few subs being made down here in Virginia, which is good. I'm actually going to go ahead and probably tell you, come up over here and come to this guy. Go ahead and be added, and then I'm going to merge you with reinforcing I'm going to merge you with this group. Go ahead and merge together. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, crap. Nope, 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 nope. That's not what we want. 
Um, you will not merge. I want you to come over here. Uh, let's see. Select that. Crap, which one was that? Engage in combat. Crap. Yeah, you are assigned an operating fleet. That's pretty good. Operating assigned area. Which one was that? Crap. Uh, docked, docked. Oh, okay. So I want you to just come over here and just do... Moving to assigned area fleet, which is fine. So then they'll reinforce anyways together. So that'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, is there a battle going on? Uh, let's see. There are some enemy destroyers, which we do need to get rid of. The Japanese do have a few destroyer fleets, which aren't very strong, but that's okay. Let's see, two ongoing combat actions. Yeah, the Japanese have... It feels like the, the AI really is learning. Oh, crap. We lost a sub. That's not good. But it really feels like they're learning, and... Oh, get in the water, boys. Come on. It's like a convoy. That's good. But, it, like, the AI was starting to use port strikes, which is kind of weird to think about. That the AI is actually actually knows how to use port strikes. Let's see. Task forces. You're all different types of task forces. Now, stay here. In, yeah, stay in Hawaii and repair. Don't leave Hawaii. Just stay here in Hawaii and have a good time with each other because we've taken a lot of casualties. Oregon, Washington, Florida. Battleships, battle cruisers, falls ill. Not bad. All right, so war plan, air war plans division. So we get more air experience, double bonus for air doctrine, and we can produce fighters and heavy fighters faster. Good. And apparently, I might have just researched something as well. Oh, I definitely want the Manhattan Project for nuclear tech. That sounds like fun. I really want defense of the Pacific, though. But that war, air war plans divisions focus did open up more close air support or tactical bombers or more strategic bombers. So if we go down here, we get more strategic bomber range, which isn't bad. But that's, I mean, strategic bombers already have a ton of range anyways. U.S. Air Force gives us more air doctrine research speed, which isn't bad, but we already have 500 air XP. A bonus for tactical bomber models, which I will probably, I already am making, which would be good to do. And a double research bonus for Air Doctrine. How far are we on our Air Doctrine? We're already going to get some bonus. We're not that far down. But honestly, as much as I love research bonuses, I love, love, love more flat bonuses than just a research bonus. Which is in itself is kind of a flat bonus, but more of a continuous bonus. So you get more range. And you get more research experience. Research bonus for heavy aircraft, which we honestly kind of need. So, uh, let's see. This, tank destroyers, whatever. Armor. Yeah, that's not going to do it for me, man. Mobilization speed. All this stuff really... It's okay. It's not bad. It's just, I wish I I wish I could do, like, a lot of these at the same time. Oh, but I'm going to do this one. I need light hole production. I need more destroyers. I need more things like that. Now, before I forget, even though I literally just forgot what I'm going to do here. It's 1942. And... Uh, we're good on infantry stuff for the most part. We got some marines. Naval stuff. Oh, what was it? Heavy fighters. I have to make heavy fighters. The fighters that you see currently, the range is just so pathetic. I'm almost inclined that in every game I play now, I'm almost never going to make regular fighters again. Unless I'm playing just in Europe. Because it's just almost so not worth using fighters. Because the range is just so puny. It's so small. Oh my gosh, look at all this. We could expand. War plans. Weapons for Honduran resistance. Effect of our partisans. Huh. Alright, well, let's see. We get 0.99 a day. We are using Haitian parliamentary speech as well as Honduran parliamentary speech. They cancel their lend lease. That's fine with me. Uh, I'm going to wait for our divisions to get up closer so we can attack all 16 Peruvian divisions. And how are we doing down here? Yeah. It's going okay. It's not going great. You're helping attack. Help reduce their, I guess, military capabilities. What did we lose this time? A bazooka. No. We lost probably a sub. An early whole sub. Whatever. You take losses. Air Doctrine. 
And do privateer. Ooh, a bonus for this, but I really want heavy fighters. Even though we could really use some more carrier stuff. 1942. Ooh, decryption would be good as well. That's a that's a nice continuous flat bonus, kind of. So, what I could do, we could make a ton of naval bombers, and what I will do is try to bait the enemies into attacking me using one of their fleets. But, when they attack, we will have a bunch of naval bombers in support. So, oh, we're, oh, it's like a destroyer, very nice. And they have a couple more destroyers here. But, oh, we lost two planes, whatever. If we were to navally invade, it would ultimately probably be... Ooh, encryption and another destroyer. This region right here. I will probably try to invade Saipan. We already have two divisions over here, which are garrisoning. But, or I could invade one of these islands. Maybe we invite invade one of these islands instead. Just because that would give us another airbase. We could quickly, basically, assume more of control of the Pacific down here. And maybe stop Japan from invading all the East Indies, as well as Australia. We'll probably do something like that. that invade all these islands, and then focus more on, like, what is this? Iwo Jima? Focus probably more on Iwo Jima and whatnot. That's probably a good idea. So, we obviously, we need more planes. Let's see. 1943 stuff. Rubber. I will need more rubber. I really, really will. Let's do that. It only takes 53 days. Uh, how is this going? Do we have enough... We got enough fighters. Carrier naval bombers are doing very well. We have enough interwar bombers, which isn't great. Just need more naval bombers. Nice, we're doing very well blowing up enemy ships. But it's just Yeah. Oh, we need more support equipment too. Uh are we making any any military factories? No. Well that's gonna be a problem. Uh 70, uh, 50, 40, Jesus, Florida. I know you're sometimes backwards, but come on. I need more of that. I need more military factories. I could pull some military Oh, factories. Oh, basic submarine snorkel. Awesome. It's 1942. Uh, 136 days for this. If we do this, that means that we would be at the best snorkel school. I kind of want to do that. And then you guys will come over here. Let's keep, let's keep the time going on anyways. Oh, we're not making any of the... Oh, these guys have to heal up. Ooh. That's okay. Go ahead and try to heal these guys up. It'll... Oh, that'll take way too long. Um, take off one of you, take off one from you as well. Con oh yeah, just get rid of a lot of these convoys, even though I need convoys. Let's go ahead and try to repair these guys up as fast as possible. Uh, I'm not going to take anything off of that. 1940 sub hull. Well, I don't need cruiser subs, probably. Sub hulls, let's upgrade this. This is what we'll start making from here on out. Snorkels. Sub visibility goes way down. Torpedoes... Oops. Well, is this better or worse than radar? Radar. I already have radar four. So we get more sub detection, more s surface detection, light attack, heavy attack, and anti-air. Well, right now, with the snorkel. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and just put a bunch of uh, torpedoes on this. But if we we have a snorkel that gives us less sub visibility, but with if they can't see us, then they can't blow us up. But with a radar, we will actually be be much more visible because we want as low visibility as possible. But with surface detection, we already we don't need to detect enemy subs, and for surface detection, I mean we already get some surface detection. This will just massively increase it. We get some anti-air, but when's the last time a sub needed anti-air in World War II? So, I'm going to go with this. This will be the brand new type of submarine that we're going to use with a snorkel. I'm only going to replace one of these groups, one of my current subs. I don't want to lose too much production, though, with these subs. Uh, we'll produce a 1940s submarine hull. We'll do that. Just because... A snorkel, I think, is probably better than radar, at least for submarines. Nice, two more convoys sunk. And, of course, we got more infantry, so when we go to war in Europe, eventually, we'll be fine. Nice, we're not doing a too bad job here. Uh, send in these two divisions. Keep harassing them. Uh, the front has definitely stalled out down here, though. Ace Wild Ace appears. 
Go ahead and put a lot of pressure on these guys. We need a ton of pressure. And you attack from this direction. You come up here. And then... Early hold destroyer. Very nice. Two more destroyers. We are destroying a lot of those destroyers. Good stuff. So how is this fleet looking like now? It's not bad. Have any of them returned to... No, they're just going to heal up. What happened to the carriers over here? Oh, center speaks out against us. Well, you can't, you know, love everyone, I suppose. But that's still that's still pretty good. And how's this strike force fleet over here? Oh, you are the oh, there's the other half, another portion of the patrol fleet, which is good to see. And are they repairing, guys? Why are you here? You should be repairing. Oh my gosh, what is this? Do not engage. Well, we have 33 light screens or like. Screen ships, light ships, screens, yeah. It's not bad. I, I feel like we got enough to battleships. Oh, we have a level 3 battleship here, actually. The USS Arkansas. Very nice. It has a ton of heavy attack. It's kind of slow. Not extremely slow, but kind of slow. It has pretty good armor, but the heavy piercing cannot pierce its own armor, which is kind of not great. You want piercing. You have to have piercing. Oh, and we beat these guys up. Awesome. So, before forward observers done let's go ahead and get the next advanced fire bases and let us begin planning an invasion of the Dominican Republic we immediately have to do this because I don't I do not want to see that the Japanese have subs in the Dominican Republic as well as Haiti that's unacceptable for us what we're gonna do we're gonna do a fairly large naval invasion in which we will try to cut off Puerto Prince from Santo Domingo and then pretty much attack it from all directions. So we have nine. Let's add one more group in there, one more division, just because I don't believe that we have upgraded our naval invasion capacity yet. So, oh, what's this? Oh, you guys are refitting. All right, how long is that going to take? 61%? 67? 68. Yeah, that, that takes quite a while. That's why I didn't let the other group do it. Nice! 12 Peruvian convoys sunk. Alright. We got a lot of ideas. Uh, let's get a little more support. That's fine with me. Anything else down here? Can I... I want to use my command power. Oh, I can. Extraction campaign. More daily exile manpower gain? Does that affect our... I guess it doesn't affect our regular manpower. Alright. Disperse fighting. Very cool. Fighter detection. So this way we can get more, oh, more air superiority. Yes, please. Air, you win these games, you win these wars through air power. Unless you're in Vietnam. Then that's just, you're screwed. Oh, nice. We got some more, actually, we already have some naval bombers. Another set of 100. What I could do. Oh, yeah, we're going to use regular fighters, which still has a crappy range. Terrible, terrible range. But we will add in these naval bombers right now. And help us see if we can strike any sort of ships in the Caribbean. Now, obviously, in Venezuela, it's probably not the best area to do this. But regardless, I want you to do this as well. Our goal is to get rid of the enemies here as fast as possible. And we're going to add you immediately to that group. I'm not sure why I added you there instead of this group down here. But regardless, whatever. Very nice. We are advancing, and the Peruvians seem like they're doing a little better. Oh, they're out of manpower, but they're pursuing nuclear technology. Good for you. Good for you. Nice convoy sunk in exchange for a plane. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, we did some port strikes. See, I told you. They, but I was wrong. So we sunk five enemy subs, but they have a total of 36 other subs in there. Holy crap, that's a lot of subs. All right, so with this, 1936 cruiser hull 1940 destroyers do i am making any 1936 stuff here yeah this shouldn't be ah uh, when this next one is done we'll replace that i just want to make sure cruise carrier hulls oh i don't have 1940 carriers so that's okay yeah destroyers i want another light cruiser to be put in uh, actually can you be upgraded first before i put you in any extra anti-air any extra uh, torpedoes, even though I don't think you really should have torpedoes on them. Uh, you have armor, but you need more light piercing. What if we got rid of that for... That wouldn't help your piercing. That just gives you more light attack and less torpedo attack. 
you really the carriers not carriers cruisers are really for anti-air which you have one two yeah I'm gonna have to replace the slide attack with more anti-air because you are just all about that anti-air all right which is fine which we'll, we'll fix that one up later uh, oh wait was that this one? Oh, we already have three on here that's fine whatever okay 1940s hooser hooser cruiser thingamabob Battleships, battle force. I need more screens in that group. That'll be great. As we lose nothing. Cool. We didn't lose anything. We didn't gain anything. Awesome. Very awesome. We're doing better on our support equipment. Naval bombers are coming online quite well. The the close air support is doing very well as well. Oh, but we have some political power. Disgraceful. We lost a couple of representatives. We sunk two Japanese convoys. And we got enough manpower, in my opinion, for now. Tank designer, I'm going to wait for a Detroit arsenal, which will never happen. Uh, naval. Oh, we already have some guy. From, naval attack from carriers? Well, I should have done... Eh, that's actually okay. Military high command. Naval amphibious invasion speed. Carrier sortie efficiency could be very good if you have carriers in everything. Naval AA defense, ground support, close air support, infantry attack, and defense is extremely good. Yeah, that's this one's very good to do. I'm gonna do that since we are we will be attacking using infantry. I don't have marines just yet, which sucks. And we suck another enemy sub. Good. Tactical bombers are doing very very well. Do I have any more tactical bombers? I'm not putting in close air support just because we don't have the range needed for them. Oh yeah, look, another 100 elections to Congress. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's always terrifying. Uh, yeah, do some close air support, actually. I will need you to do some close air support when we do attack, so. And you do have the range. Our enemy subs, great. And you're almost deployed. There you go. Caribbean Sea. Really, I want you, you to do Haiti. Actually, you guys, yeah, you're doing the same thing. And another two subs were lost. And another sub was lost. Awesome. All right, so are we ready to invade? This is kind of suicidal, to be honest. That's okay. And actually, uh, they're, you're refitting. Oh, you definitely must go back and heal as well as you. I'm going to keep this force down here just in case the enemies get more supplies in, supplies out. Please stop attacking because you're killing yourselves like crazy. The tanks are doing okay, though. Hmm. Take half of you guys. You probably take that one division out. And it's melting. Good. No, not really melting, but slowly dying away. Uh, you will come over here. Because we do have some extra... What was that? Micronesian Gap? Uh-oh. That's some four enemy subs. What's going on over here? Oh, someone's trying to invade us in the Johnston Atoll. Oh, we do have a... Holy crap, we got a lot of radar. Holy crap, that's really good. Yeah, boost up that radar, guys. That's extremely, extremely important so we can figure out where the enemies are. Some people say radar is really not good. In my opinion, I found it to be extremely helpful. Maybe not to the game itself, but to me at least when I'm dealing with unknown numbers of enemies. So I find it extremely helpful just so that I know how many enemies are around. We lost a plane, but we sunk a convoy. All right, you come over here. Do we have any more? Nope, that's fine with me. Still got my wall against Mexico ready to go. Oh. Oh, we have another tank. Great. Come over here. And awesome. So the Dominican Republic. You have no planes. We got more rubber. It's still 1942. Air doctrine would be good. Planes would be good. What's artillery like? Let's get a little bit more artillery. And God, I don't want this to be a, a, like a complete fiasco. I really don't. But we're going to try it anyways. Let's go ahead, boys. We have air, uh, naval superiority. We have air superiority. The only thing we don't have is land superiority. And actually, you guys really look like you can do a pretty good job here, especially if you use armor. You're still trying to attack down there. Well, that's all right. Nice. Keep blowing them up. Two more subs gone, as well as nothing lost. Convoy's lost. Ooh, what are you? Oh, better make it over there, guys. I don't want to send your mommy and daddies. You know, a note saying that you perished in your endeavors to help support this country. And they have five divisions here. Holy crap. That's not good. That's really not good. 
three, two. Awesome. Well, we've landed. Go ahead and try to build this up as. We really need this spot, though. Let's see. Escort effort. Awesome. Convoy tactics. Convoy defense doctrine. Fund the navy. Enable radar. I love radar. Carriers are okay. Do I want more tactical bombers? Oh, crap. Close air support. Well, you, actually, you don't have anything over here. All you get are three things, and over here you get four. Uh, doctrine speed can be negated just because we'll finish things up eventually. Range is okay, even though I love the fl flat continuous bonuses like I did say. Mm. Well, I'm going to go with tactical bombers just because I'm currently using them, and they're actually very, very good. And this way... Oh, nice. So these guys are surrounded, so that means they have to uh, produce some goods here. Go ahead and attack. I don't want you to move. This way, there... Oh, we, we're winning. We're winning. Oh, we're not losing. Yeah, exactly. We're not losing. We're winning. I want you to help attack this from this direction as well. If we can get port a prince then, this, then the Dominican Republic will easily be quashed. And... And... I didn't think I'd actually be able to do it this episode. Go ahead and crush these guys. And they are crushed. The Haitian government in exile. Since Stenio Vincent has formally requested permission from the American government to return to Haiti. Good. So Haiti, you are back. You are large. You are in charge. I don't think I need to put all my divisions over here. But it's so much easier if I just do it like this. Oh, you left your position. Well, that's not good. But that's... Uh, Just come up here. Solve them for now. That's fine. Oh, we lost a couple planes. Because we're trying to bomb the enemy convoys and stuff like that. Good. We're doing very well this episode, guys. Very, very well. Proud of these guys. Alright. We're not doing so well down here. Even though we didn't get the armor in. Fighting immediately. Which is kind of... Probably not a good idea. Uh, let's see. Three more divisions. Good. And we have space for a lot more dockyards. Well then. Could use more convoys. Oh. Get these back to our destroyers. And... Virginia, but we already have a battleship going to Virginia. Battleship. And another carrier to Virginia. I just need more screens. That's really what I need. Destroyers. I think just give me more cruisers. And I'm going to keep putting them in the battleship's battle force. Oh, wait. Until... That group is pretty good. 1940 subs. Yeah. We need 1936. You know what? I already I already missed this once. I'm going to just do it now. So I don't forget. And. Alright, we didn't win there. That's fine. Go ahead and help them out. Put them out of their misery. Because let's be real. They're all miserable there. Has anything happened over here? No. And before we're going to end this episode, I want to capitulate the Dominican Republic. Oh, the reserve fleet. Oh yeah, go ahead and merge. Nice. Now we've almost have... We have four full carriers in the battleship's battle force fleet. Excuse me. That's awesome. That is really freaking awesome. Four carriers, seven battleships, a heavy cruiser, and then a bunch of things here. Awesome. Uh, as great as this is, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to stop producing capital ships in this fleet. I'm going to start producing a lot of capital ships in the patrol fleet. And I'll do that and micromanage that for a while. So, I'll do that between this episode and the next, as well as uh, just micromanage things a little bit better so that I don't have to, I don't want to say waste your time, but we can continue on with the next episode next time. But let's finish this, this group up here. we got pretty much all of our guys over here already. Just go ahead when you can. Let's see, you two. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, we've got Marines. We've got Marines already. Great, 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 great. Uh, just throw you in the Pacific Theater, which already has you down here. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. You. We lost the plane. San Domingo will be ours. We're killing a lot of these Japanese subs. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. And these guys are just dying trading places. Holy cow. Oh, and we sunk another Japanese convoy. Awesome. What's going on over here? Four more Japanese convoys, and the Dominican Republic has capitulated. Why you joined the co-prosperity sphere, I will never understand, but at least you didn't join the Germans and their side. So, at least there's some sort of minor benefit to this. So, with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode 
of uh, my American campaign series. Next time, we will hopefully finish up Peru, which... Actually, you know, I'm going to send these guys in first. Oh, wait, that's the wrong place. Oh, well. You guys keep attacking. You guys keep attacking. And then, uh... Help them out. Anyways, we'll finish off Peru. We'll f actually start maneuvering our marines into the the Pacific here. Take out some of these islands while trying to engage and bait out the enemy's Japanese serious strike forces. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And like I said, may democracy be with you. Thanks for watching.